In this highlights video, we'll be comparing MongoDB collections located in different databases as well as how to sync your data. To begin, click on the Compare button in the global toolbar. This will open the Compare Sync tab in the main window. Click on the Connect to Source Server button in the Source Connection section on the left. The Connection Manager window will open, and you can now choose which server will be your source server. On the right, we'll also need to do the same to select the target connection by clicking on Connect to Server. Again, the Connection Manager window opens, and you can choose your target server. The server can be the same server as you're currently connected to, or a different server where the other collection resides. Toggle open both the source and target databases containing the collections that you wish to compare. They are both located on the same server in the same database. We want to compare the customer's collection and the different customer's collection. Alternatively, if both of your collections are on your current server, you can set this up by going to the connection tree, toggling open the databases where your collections reside, selecting your source collection, then clicking the compare button, and dragging your target collection over to the target area. You're now at the same point as you were before. Now, we simply drag the source collection, the customer's collection, directly on top of the target collection, the different customer's collection. A visual data comparison link will form between the two. Additionally, the comparison, representing both your source and target, will be generated in the section below. Select it, and then click the Configure button to the right. A comparison configuration window opens. By going through the various tabs and their settings, you have the option to set certain fields and filters based on your criteria. In the Match On tab, we can leave selected the Match on MongoDB underscore ID, in which IDs are unique for records and is always a good way to compare documents. Or, we can select Match On Selected Fields. To add field names, click the Add button on the right to begin typing in your criteria. Now, we all know, for example, there's a first and last name for everyone. Note, be mindful MongoDB is case-sensitive. So, we'll make our comparisons with these two items and click OK. Next, click the Run button to execute the comparisons. A Confirm Data Compare prompt opens. Click OK. A new tab opens, yielding your results. In this tab, there are three sub-tabs. Overview, Differences, and Multiple Matches. First, let's look at what's in the Overview tab. This gives us a whole bunch of statistics that reads all the records and compares them between the two, both the source and the target. We can see there were 999 records analyzed in both. With 966 identical documents. But, one actual differing document, three documents with no target match, because there were no corresponding documents in the different customers collection, 24 documents had multiple target matches, that means 24 had the same first and last name, and five records have no first or last names, so there may be a problem there. Now, let's view all this in a much more readable way. Let's select the Differences tab. It's color-coded to help you compare the differences. Source-only documents are in green, meaning there are no documents in the target collection that currently exist in the source collection. Red means just the opposite. There are documents that exist only in the target, but do not exist in the source data. And with yellow, this indicates that there are one or more differences between particular fields in the source and target documents. If we open this, we'll see that a new field, survey, has been added, and that it is true, again, which doesn't exist in the original data. Here, if we wish to match these up, we can right-click on this field in the target and choose Copy Field to Source. A Copy Field prompt opens. Choosing Copy Field will move this information to the source. And the same holds true with moving data from the source collection to the target collection. It's a bi-directional process. Same goes for whole documents. Like before, just right-click the document 
and choose Copy Document to Target. You'll be prompted to add a copy of the whole document to the target. Hit Copy, and the document is copied over. Now, let's move on to the Multiple Matches tab. This allows us to see that there are two documents that refer to Steve Nelson, one in each collection. Double-click that item, and a Multiple Match Differences window opens. Here you can see both the source and target documents. Both have a drop-down menu where you can discover the reason there are two different documents for the same name is that there are two separate IDs for the same person, and you can decide to either synchronize them or have both records. To sync, have both differing IDs shown in the drop-down menus, select the source ID and choose Sync Selected. Again, you'll be prompted and click Copy. The documents will be merged. And if we return to the Differences tab, we can see our changes in the color coding scheme. This is a very powerful way of getting your data in good order. Please see our other highlights videos on getting more from MongoDB with the power of Studio 3T. Thanks for watching and happy comparing.